There's no denying Death Stranding is one of the most unique games ever made. It may not be for everyone, but Hideo Kojima's blend of cinema-inspired storytelling alongside a unique strand world has definitely left its mark on the gaming community. Enough to set my sore heart racing. But as polished as Death Stranding is, nothing is perfect, and Kojima is getting another crack at crafting an experience that is sure to awe and inspire future games. We don't know much about Death Stranding 2, but the short Game Awards 2022 trailer has me excited for the future of this broken world. And while I wouldn't dare suggest Kojima to not be, well, Kojima, there are a few gameplay ideas I'd love to see in the sequel. Death Stranding is all about delivering a lot of cargo in the most efficient way. So what's more efficient than setting up a streamlined assembly line? Made popular by games like Factorio and Satisfactory, picture being able to utilize equipments like robots, conveyor belts, and lifts to help get packages where they need to go. It's not going to work everywhere, but imagine being in the eastern region of Death Stranding and having the ability to connect all of the way stations and preppers by creating an intricate Rube Goldberg machine full of lifts and conveyor belts, with Autobots to make sure it all works smoothly. It's a crazy idea, but it's just crazy enough to work. Gunplay isn't the biggest aspect in Death Stranding, but it exists, and unfortunately, it isn't particularly good. Guns, rocket launchers, grenades, they're all just packages Sam is forced to carry along with all the other nondescript silver briefcases and cages. When a gun is out of bullets, it's useless, and depending on the scenario that Sam finds himself in, it almost never seems like you have the perfect loadout for the job. I'd love a version of Death Stranding where combat was actually something I enjoyed versus it being something I just have to do sometimes. Let me find a favorite gun and upgrade it. Give me the ability to equip a machine gun and bring extra bullets with me instead of just having to take two machine guns. Metal Gear Solid had so much prep work you could do before a mission and I'd really like Death Stranding to incorporate some of that with some sort of loadout mechanic. In many ways, Death Stranding pushes to make you feel like you're not alone. There are signs and notes from other porters, and you can even leave some of your own. You can see and use other player structures, and others can let you know that they've used yours by leaving likes. But despite that, there's no actual multiplayer. So whether you're delivering a huge number of packages, taking on a group of mules, or even just climbing up some cold, snowy mountain, it's always alone. But what if it weren't? I wouldn't want Death Stranding to become a shared world experience or an MMORPG, but imagine a Dark Souls-like summoning system where a friend can join your world and help carry that huge delivery or help build a freeway. That's a world I want to live in. As previously mentioned, Death Stranding encourages you to build structures and leave signs to help fellow unseen porters. But what do you actually get for it? You get likes, and likes are useless. There's almost nothing in this game you don't get likes for, and eventually you'll have so many, you won't care about them. Maybe that's enough for some players, but imagine what the world of Death Stranding could look like if you were actually incentivized to build things for more than just yourself. Even if it were just cosmetic, I really think that some sort of reward system for helping out fellow porters could go a long way. Music is common in Death Stranding, and during your adventures, you'll reach moments where real-world songs will start playing, complete with full credits to the song's creator. Players can add music to their structures, and if you follow Kojima on social media, you'll know how much he thinks about the music he puts in his games. And yet you can't actually listen to the stellar soundtrack whenever you want. Which is pretty nuts. In a world ruled by technology, you're telling me that Sam has never been able to get his hands on a simple music player? Come on Kojima, these walks are long. Give us something to entertain ourselves with.
Almost every Death Stranding mission has the same goal, to receive or recover a piece of cargo and deliver it somewhere. It's fine, that is the goal of the game, but how about some variety? It's common for open world games to offer a variety of mission types, and there's no reason that's not the case here. Maybe mules have set up camp a little too close to a prepper, or a herd of BTs needs thinning out. Sam is more than capable of just carrying things from one place to another, so let's break up that monotony. You've finished the game, you've enjoyed the immersion, and now you just want to get all the collectibles and 5-star every prepper. However, Death Stranding never lets you forget about its… annoyances. Do you want to rest in Sam's room and take a quick shower? Do you realize how many cutscenes stand in between you and these simple tasks? They're skippable, of course, but why do I need to skip three cutscenes just for Sam to take a shower? Give me the option to automate some of this stuff. We've seen Sam flop on the bed a million times. We've seen him wash off all his chiral grossness. So let's move on. Furthermore, this one may be a little controversial. Allow us to turn off BTs in Timefall if we finish the game. It's over. We won. We just want to make deliveries. Watching a truckload of cargo get sucked into the earth because an easily dealt with BT trapped you just isn't fun when you're grinding for a platinum trophy. So please, once we've beat the game, let us feel like we've made some sort of difference. And there you have it. Death Stranding 2 is likely years away, but it's already one of my most anticipated games. What are some of the things you're looking forward to in Kojima's second outing? Make sure to let us know in the comments below, and of course for more on Death Stranding, check out the biggest changes you'll see when jumping into the PS5 Director's Cut. And for everything else video games, stick with IGN. By your side, close your tired eyes, and I'll wait, and soon I'll see your smile.